I don't see Declan Rice as one of the first signings for Arsenal. It just shows that they, they weren't getting their jobs done quick, uh, quick enough for this deal because this deal has been in the works since January. What role yeah, is he going to be in if he goes to yeah. Arsenal? Is he going to be like the outright, an outright defensive midfielder? I think he's going to be in the party. Or... I think he's going to be the six because okay. I a lot of Arsenal fans think we're going to sign Declan Rice and Caicedo. I don't believe that at all. I believe we're going to probably get Declan Rice and we're looking at Caicedo as the alternative. Uh, and, and they've said a lot of things where they want an eight, someone else to replace Xhaka. They're talking about Mason Mount. They're talking about all these other names. But the, the truth is, Sorry, the truth is he, offers us, he offers us cover for both positions, but I do think he'll ideally be playing as that six, that, number, that person who picks up the ball off the, uh, off the, off the center halves and, and drives it forward and, and, and drives from the, from, the, from the deep line midfield area. Mm. I, I want to ask you a question, Igal. You, you, there are a lot of talk of Arsenal getting rid of a lot of players this summer, a big clear out, and yeah. quite a number of players coming in. Are you yeah. worried that if you have six or seven leaves, four or five, six come in, that you won't be able to challenge next year because there won't be enough time to get them to jail? A hundred percent. I don't want us to get rid of too many players. I want us to keep... So, uh, if you're going to get rid of Xhaka, don't get, now and go and sell Partey. Even though Partey has one year left, I would keep Partey. I, the guys that I would get rid of are the Runnersons, the Cedrics, the Tenuna Tavares, the Holding, Pablo Mari, uh, Enzi Menaz, Pepe. I'll get rid of all those guys. We could, we have like 15 of those guys we could name and sell right now. They they would they would garner us easily 160 uh, 60 million, I believe. If we go if we went and sold like 12 of those fringe players instead of going and selling Partey on top of uh, on top of Eddie and Ketia, maybe Balogun even will probably get sold for a decent amount. I don't want to keep I don't want to sell Partey. I would. I don't want to keep holding, but I. But I would understand if they kept some of these guys in and around the team, and maybe got rid of what Xhaka and like, what just some of the fringe players. Don't sell Partey. What What about the, the, the? A lot of Arsenal fans seem excited. A few don't about the re-signing of Reese Nelson on a new big long term. I'm happy with that. Is that it? Okay. I'm happy with Reese Nelson being sold, uh, not being sold because I mean, not being uh, let go for free because this is a young player who's 23 years old and finally showing what we've wanted from him in a long time. I know it's only, he's only played 10 games and he's only been in a bench role, but in that role, he was impactful off the bench against, against three in three games that were very close. He made the difference against Nottingham Forest. He made the difference against Aston Villa. And I do believe given more opportunities, now that we're going to be in the Champions League and we're going to be playing the Premier League, he can be a player that will offer us something off the bench or even starting in games, hopefully going forward. And he's still very young. So if we would have let him to go to Brighton or Aston Villa, it would have been a mistake. And people would have been looking at us like, why, why did we let this talented youngster go? Miguel, have you seen the, the comment below by Lee Gunnar? Well, there's no reason to win the league next season. To not win the league. To not I, win. I agree. I think we should go on and win the league next season. Will you? Do you think you will? I believe we will. You make yes, it a prediction. Good luck with that. I believe we can strengthen. Wow. If we strengthen, if we strengthen yes. and we get the right players in and they all do and they all come into the team and they gel well, what's stopping us? Arsenal winning Even with Champions League football. Even, Even with Champions that. League football, that's the aim for next season. We challenge this season. The aim next season is to win the league. Now, where I disagree with Ligana is I don't think we're going to go and win the Champions League next season because that is going to take a little bit more experience to be in the Champions League. A lot of our players haven't even played in the Champions League yet. So people are going to say excuses for Champions League. I don't think anyone's expecting Arsenal to go into the Champions League next year and win the Champions League. Maybe quarterfinals is, is really like the end goal or ambition for next season. Because if we can get to a quarterfinal from a team that wasn't even in the competition for six years to get to the quarterfinals or semis, that's an, a massive accomplishment. But to the league, for us to challenge this year and to regress, to go third or fourth next season would be regression. We can't do that. We have to go in, on to push on and try to win it. And if we don't win it, there's going to be circumstances and consequences from that. Nobbins, he, he said he doesn't see no reason why they Arsenal can't win the league next year. As a City fan, looking at who they're linked with, who they're going to be selling, are you, are you worried they're going to be even better next year? Are, are they a threat to your crown? There's the reason right there, that bold fraud I'm pointing to. That's the reason why Arsenal won't win the league, because um, Guardiola's City still exists. Uh, I think that we are just going to get better. Uh, I think that the City we've seen, I don't think City have actually been that good this season. Everyone's saying this best Premier League side ever need to chill out, maybe from like March to now, maybe. But, you know, there was a period where we were like, you know, borderline bad. But I think the City we're seeing now, i.e. the one from like, you know, March to, to pre or like, you know, late Feb to present, the one since the you know, FFP charges, actually. Um, I think this is the sort of like the final form. And this, if that city is 
there for the entirety of next season. I, I don't really genuinely know who actually gets close to us sort of like in like the by, by, by come like you know match week 37. Uh, Sam's giving me the, the eyebrow there. I do think that Liverpool could challenge and maybe come second if they sign like, you know, a, a four decent players. But I think the main reason which will stop everyone else won't necessarily even be themselves. It will be the existence of, in my opinion, a city side which will have fully adapted to Haaland. Um, uh, and, and if anything, I can only see him scoring more goals uh, next year. I, I can only see City winning more games and getting more points next year so it might something might go wrong but in my opinion if you want to challenge city next year you're gonna be looking at like around 95 points i think damn that's a bold prediction you're gonna fall off though nobbins i'm you're saying gonna fall off next, year. next year probability says no one's done that, four in a row nobbins. Yeah, no one's that's done what four in a row. history's there says to be no broken one's done four in a row. even doing three in a row this season yeah. you're 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 no. breaking the you're breaking the mold yeah, yeah and no no manager has ever won well, they're, uh, they're not breaking the mold it's been done th twice in the premier league they're not breaking the mold no manager no, has but ever it hasn't done been done in, times in, in the three that's different that's leagues what I mean. that's what pep guardiola's done so he's there to he's there to uh, break the records he's there to make history and he's just going to do it again no, no, next year no cap it's a, big, it's a big bold prediction true blue here says uh, a whole lot of ifs in what you said there Egal, about arsenal Hey, there's a whole lot of ifs about Man United, but you you were adamant That's... that you believe in what you're saying. So far yeah, I, I get that, but why would you challenge people's ifs and then give ifs yourself? You make that ifs sound like that's not a. Re I I, I, I kept it consistent. I said the same ifs that I said about Man United for Arsenal. If those don't happen, then we nothing's stopping us. And I do believe we're currently in a better situation than Man United because we've already challenged this season. Now we just need to go on and push on and add those. Uh, two or three players and a little bit more quality in our team. We don't need to go and sign a new goalkeeper, sign a new this, sign a new that. We really only need to go sign a midfielder and more, more squad depth. Patrick, Striker. over to you. Striker. What? Striker? I would striker. love to sign a striker, but I don't think we're going to sign a striker this summer. Do you think I you need a striker? Need a, yeah, you need a striker. That's my I, opinion. I, I, I'm asking, do you think? With no, you. I'm asking, do you think? I don't disagree you with you. you. I think if this team wants to compete in the Champions League and in the mm. league in the long run and try to win both competitions, then yes. But the reality is, I don't think Arsenal is going to go and sign a striker this summer. I don't think we're going to do that. Mm -hmm. I think even without signing a striker, I still think we have enough quality to go on and push on. I personally would, may, I would take a punt on Ivan Tony and bring him in in January. Mm. Mm. It's gonna be interesting. Um, this year says, uh, "Isn't next season top five Champions League qualification?" I think so. I is need it? to go and double. I think it's depending on your coefficient. Yeah, and England, England will probably have quite a good high coefficient. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the team. But, yeah. you, but you guys are almost forgetting that the players that we have in our squad can't get better because majority of the young, uh, majority of the average age of our squad is very young. So who's to say they don't get much better? So, uh, so we go. So you think with a good window, you're expecting Arsenal to win the league next season? I'm just clarifying. I'm expecting. This. I'm expecting them to push on from where they were this season. Challenging. So, challenging. so yes. Yeah, no, all right, cool. So right, yes. I'm just asking. Uh, from, so to go yeah. from challenging to winning the league is not ridiculous. No, to it's not. I'm third, just. I'm just asking. So I don't wait. Wait. I, I, I agree. I agree. And it's, you know, to be, to, you know, to be four or five wins away from <coughs> challenging and to improve in the summer isn't ridiculous either. I, I think what's crazier practice. is people who are saying Arsenal is going to fall off and regress to finish fourth next season. That's what I find even crazier because that's um, that's basically saying that our players have all hit their ceilings. None of them can get better. None of them can can, can sustain what they've done this season. Yeah. Even though you guys all criticize Jesus for not scoring enough goals, making fun of Saka saying his poor form end of the season, it literally only takes a little bit more improvement from all those players. Plus, filling out a couple of players here and but there. It also Plus, means other are. teams could do better and improve. Yeah, isn't that you know the same for anyone I, else? I, the Although I agree with other everyone. teams doing better, Chelsea need to double their points tally from this season to get to us. Not us, not us. Liverpool, Liverpool, I hear it. Man United, I hear it. But when people start mentioning Tottenham, Newcastle, and, and all you guys, no I one's mentioned like those a little teams. bit. I've, I've just said other teams could be more competitive. <laughs> no I never named Chelsea or no, any but other team. I, every time when people start with these conversations, other teams going to get better. First team they mention is the my most underperforming teams in Chelsea. I get, I get, I get, I get that. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, yeah, the reason you get challenged is because you say things like, why are you confident, Terry? A lot of ifs, a lot of buts, a lot of maybes. You've got to improve. You've got to buy people, make them gel. And then all the reasons that you think you're going to improve are identical to the reasons that other teams think their team will improve. That's that's why you get called out. Not because, because you're I factored those but, in, Terry. But not because you're not because you're wrong, but you challenge people's logic and then have the, almost an identical logic about your own. Oh, but that's consistency, team. Terry. 
no, that's I, no, no, I no, challenge no, your no, logic, no, if no, I challenge no, your team, no, no, but hang on, let me no, learn. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not the same logic. If my logic, if you challenge my logic and say, why do you think that? That's wrong. And then use the same logic to back up your argument. That is the opposite of consistency. You shouldn't challenge my logic. What? Terry, yes. what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if I if I'm holding, if I'm saying these are the things that are going to stop Manchester United, I'm saying if these things work for us, then we can go on and win it. Because yes. I believe so, those you, things... so, you, so you, what you've done there is you've gone right, same logic, but you go right. If all those things work for us, we'll win the league. But Man United, I'm going to go. Yeah, but what if they go wrong, Terry? So you're reversing the logic. You're not you're not having the same energy for both conversations, and that's fine to do as a rival, but expect to be challenged. You always wonder why people challenge you. It's because you reverse it all the time instead of being fair and consistent. That's why you're laughing. The smirk. I'm out. making a valid oh. point, but you're trying to you're trying to change I'm not, it up. I'm not, I'm not, again, you, you're getting me wrong, Egal. You're not listening. I didn't say your points weren't valid. I'm pointing out to you why you get challenged. I didn't say you didn't make a valid point. No, no, I understand why I get challenged because it triggers. No, people. you ask why do people challenge me all the time? You literally said that on the show. <laughs> you did say. I'm being facetious. I'm being facetious. <laughs> 